The Wolverines' next test came at home against Northwestern, who bounced back from their stunning loss to Miami of Ohio to win their next two games. The Wildcats hadn't beat the Maize and Blue in their last 19 meetings. By that time, we had become a pretty good football program, a pretty good football team. We weren't sure how good, but we needed a test like Michigan. I remember going through the scouting report and you know, as we read through each player on their on their side of the ball, on both the offense and the defense, it's, you know, this guy, All-American this, All-American super prep this, All-American this, and pretty soon Barnett just throws the book across the thing and he goes, you know, to sum it all up, they're all All-Americans and we probably shouldn't even go over there to play. We didn't really know. Nobody knew how good Northwestern was going to be that year. And, you know, to have Gary Barnett, nobody really knew how good of a coach he was. Scott Dreisbach, our young redshirt freshman quarterback, uh, in our off week, had um, uh, fractured his thumb. He had to have surgery, he was out for the year. Coach Carr turned to Brian Greasy, a young and experienced walk-on. There was not, I don't think, anything from the fans or the coaches' uh, point of view that you lose uh, Scott Dreisbach and, and oh, we're, we're stuck with Greasy. That wasn't the feeling at all. The game was a vintage Big Ten defensive battle with neither team finding the end zone in the first half. After 30 minutes, the score was tied, 6-6. We were fortunate to just have it be 6-6 because Timmy Biakapatuka had already put a bunch of yards on us and, and uh, our defense had just made enough plays to keep them out of the end zone. Greasy will hand it off, Biakapatuka hole up the middle, he's across the 45, to the outside, the 50, the 45, the 40, cuts it back, he's at the 35, stiff arms We sort of called ourselves the bend but don't break defense. We'll, we'll give up a lot of yards, which we did. Tim Biakapatuka ran for like 500. He may still be running right now. Biakapatuka rushed for 205 yards on the day, but never made it into the end zone. And the handoff, Biakapatuka, and he's run down at the three and shoved back. And Eric Collier, Danny. That was Pat Fitzgerald's signature moment of the 1995 season was stopping Tim Biakabituka on the goal line. NU's defense stepped up again in the fourth quarter, intercepting Greasy and setting up the Wildcats' first and only touchdown of the game. Eric Collier, and he's out of bounds at the 33 of the Wolverines. Our defense was as talented across the board as there had been in the country. I mean, we were ranked number one most of the year. Um, we knew that if our defense could make plays, that our offense, they would put our offense in a good position to, to, to score touchdowns. He's gonna throw man wide open, sliding catch, touchdown, Matt Hartle. Matt Hartle's first touchdown, and the Wildcats take the lead with 12.42 to go. Michigan was going for it late in the game, and I remember that Northwestern blitzed. And you kind of said, whoa. Like, here it is, the game's on the line at the big house against Michigan, and they are the aggressor, and it works. They rushed Michigan every chance they had. They had him off balance, they had him on their heels, they sent all kinds of different blitzes, different looks. Uh, they didn't play to tie, they played to win, and they attacked the castle instead of just trying to hang on. They did the right thing at that time. Michigan mounted a final drive, but the Northwestern secondary rose to the occasion, sealing another improbable Wildcat upset. He's hit as he throws. It's intercepted. Yes! William Bennett intercepts at the 21-yard line. We, we thought we had just lost the, you know, the bottom, bottom dwellers of the Big Ten, you know, so we were really, really down. And Northwestern has come into Ann Arbor and spoiled Michigan's unbeaten season. Northwestern was no longer a one-hit wonder. Instead, they were sitting pretty at 4-1 and one with wins over both Notre Dame and Michigan. That was a huge win for our confidence, and I really thought our team really came together and said, you know, this snowball's starting to roll downhill now and get, gather some more snow. Uh, we get a chance to be pretty good.